From time to time, camera sensors catch dust, dirt, spots, things you can easily remove in post-processing, but at a certain elevated level, it becomes annoying. And then you might want to consider to clean your camera sensor. But for many modern cameras, this is not a straightforward procedure as it used to be many years ago with, let's say, legacy cameras, because many cameras today have in-body image stabilization. And that means your camera sensor will be loose, not fixed and not sturdy in the camera body because it has to be freely floating when the magnetic field of the camera is activated so that the camera by in-body image stabilization can compensate for shakes and vibrations and the image stabilization becomes effective. And uh, there are some tips and tricks how to get the camera sensor fixed and sturdy for the cleaning procedure. I'm going to show them quickly in this video. And the procedure is different for different camera brands. So I'm illustrating this here for Leica cameras like the SL2 and for the Sony a7R4 or in general for Sony a7 series cameras which actually have in-body image stabilization. And for other camera brands, there might be different tips and tricks how to get this done. There is one little disclaimer I want to make at the beginning of this video before we start. If you don't know how to clean a sensor, if this is not a procedure you're familiar with, you should under all circumstances hand in your camera to a professional service and they get the cleaning work done for you. Because in most manuals, as you find it, for instance, in the manual of the Leica SL2, the manufacturer clearly points out that if you clean the sensor yourself, you face the risk of losing your warranty and that's not what you want. So I do not take any responsibilities for potential damage you might do to your camera if you don't know what to do and how to do in the cleaning procedure. Let's get started with the video now. The first thing to note is that camera sensor cleaning needs dedicated professional tools. And they typically come shipped in a bundle. So you have the cleaning tools here, they are called swabs, and you have some liquid shipped with the swabs. And this liquid is useful to actually get the sensor clean, even from spots coming maybe from oil in the mechanical elements of your shutter in the camera. And uh, the swabs come bundled very often with several units in a package. So this one here is 12. I ordered this all at Amazon, but you can get it at every professional camera store. And the brand is not so important. You should try out what is best possible working for you and what makes you most comfortable in your cleaning procedure. Important also to note that the swabs have different sizes typically. So this one here is for full frame camera sensors, but there are also smaller ones for APS-C or crop sensors and bigger ones for medium format sized sensors. So depending on what camera model you have, you need to purchase a dedicated tool to actually make the procedure effective and efficient. So let's look at the Sony camera first here and uh, let's remove the lens. The Sony A7R4 and also previous versions in the Sony A7 series, they have in-body image stabilization. And that means if you just remove the lens and look at the sensor, the sensor is actually floating. So if you look at the sensor here and I come in with my swab and I move the swab, the sensor is moving. The sensor is loose, it's not fixed, it's not sturdy, and you cannot apply a reasonable force to actually clean that sensor without risking to damage your sensor. And what you want is a sensor which is sturdy and fixed so you can apply force to actually clean it in a meaningful way and do not have that sensor floating forth and back all the time. Now on Sony cameras, it's quite straightforward and we see a similar procedure for the Leica SL2 in a moment to actually fix that floating sensor problem for cleaning purposes. The only way you have to do is you basically take your camera and you switch it on. And when you switched it on, the problem is solved. The sensor is now captured in a magnetic field and is no longer floating. So it's now sturdy, it's fixed. I can apply my cleaning procedure and I'm good to go. And it's actually easy to demonstrate this even without going into, into the camera body with your swab. Let's just switch it off again. And um, let's have a look at the camera. So here now, if you look at the sensor, the sensor is in a certain position. And now when I switch it on, watch that area here of the sensor. 
you saw how this slipped up. It's now captured in the magnetic field and it's no longer floating. I try to repeat that effect. Let's switch it off again. Now it's coming down. So let's have a look here. Let's get this even closer maybe. I switch it on. You watch the middle of the preview in the video. Look at that. So now the sensor is positioned by the magnetic field and is actually taken care of and you can clean the camera. Also important to remark that switch works independently whether you have applied in your camera menu the steady shot or not. So I'm here on the second camera settings page and there is an entry steady shot. This is now at on, but if I would switch this off, it would nevertheless work in the same way. If the camera is switched off, you cannot clean the sensor because the sensor is floating. If you switch the camera on, you can clean the sensor and this is independent on what you have set here under steady shot, which is basically the menu entry for in-body image stabilization. So how do you apply your cleaning? You get the swab, you get a little bit of liquid on the swab, not too much. And then you see the size of the swab is matching the size of the sensor. So you just with a very calm move, move that up into one direction. And then you're already good to go. If you look at the sensor, it's polished and clean. And the reason why this is enough is because there is a lot of alcohol concentration in those liquids here and it makes immediately going any smudging and everything away if you apply just once. Do not scrub it heavily because it might again damage the sensor. Just make one or two swipes with your swab along the sensor. That's why it is also important that you have the right size. So this one, as I said, is for full frame sensors and then you're good to go and the sensor will be clean and absolutely fine for the next shooting. Let's now do the same procedure with the Leica SL2. First of all, we get the camera and remove the lens. This is, by the way, the 16 to 35 millimeter SL wide angle zoom lens. So if you look at the sensor now and I switch the camera on, you saw how that sensor moved up. I switch it off again. It comes down. Now when I switch the camera on, now it's switched off. If I switch it on, the sensor adjusts in the magnetic field. Here we go. So in the same way as for the Sony A7R4, I can clean that Leica SL2 sensor by making sure I switch the camera on. The SL2 also has the menu entry in the menu setting. So if we go up to page number five, there is image stabilization. This was now switched on and I can also switch it off. But independently of that, at least with my firmware here on the Leica SL2, the trick works as soon as the camera is switched on, the sensor adjusts in the right position and then the sensor is sturdy and fine to actually do the sensor cleaning. Now, what I also said before is this is probably a different procedure for different cameras. I don't know if this works the same way for other in-body image stabilization cameras, but at least for Leica and for Sony. This works quite nice. I hope it was useful. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you liked my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and peace out. Oh, by the way, if you really want to do it yourself, happy cleaning.